Hi guys, um, probably weren't expecting anything from me. Um, yes, I had my surgery. Uh, I had it Monday. Today is uh, Friday morning, uh, eleven thirty, Friday morning. Um, I'm up here with the boys. Uh, the second part of their bear hunt. Um, they're out hunting right now, um, but as you can tell, I'm in here. Um, I'm not going to risk walking around in the woods um, and re-injuring this. Um, I am basically came up here for sitting in this cabin and just hanging out of this cabin is the best pain medicine I could have. So I decided to come with them. Um, we went out, I drove them to all the areas where our trail cameras are. Um, I got all the SD cards here to go through. Um, like I said, they're out hunting. This is their second try at it. Their first three days of the third hunt, we had high, real high winds like 30 plus mile an hour, a day and a half of those high winds were like widow makers and then we had heavy rain, rain, it was like every day. So that's not an excuse, but the baits weren't getting hit. So they came back, they're gonna hunt today, tomorrow, and then uh, Sunday morning, and then we'll head for home. But uh, no, I, uh, I decided to come I'm taking it easy, very, very easy. I'm not lifting nothing, and I'm not doing nothing, but just hanging out in the cabin. Well, yes, I did. We split the drive and coming up here. We brought my truck, but one of the other guys helped me drive. Um, and like I said, I drove them out to all the areas. They went out, truck through the woods, got the SD cards down, and swapped them, put new ones in. So no, I'm just sitting back here, just chilling out. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go through these SD cards. Uh, I forgot to bring my phone with me when we went out. When I was waiting in the truck, I just said, well, I'm gonna start my video, and I realized I left my phone back here in the cabin. So no, uh, everything went well with the surgery. Like I said, I'm still in, I'm still in pain. It's, it's hard to walk, it's hard to really do anything. But uh, I can relax just as easy here as I can at home. So I decided to come. And like I said, this is the best pain medicine there is, is just hanging out here. I could just sit here and watch your critters or do whatever. So, but anyways, I, uh, like I said, they're all hunting. I don't expect them back till 9, 9, 9.30 tonight. Um, probably cook some brats on the grill and uh, maybe some baked beans for dinner. But uh, nope, I'm up at camp. I didn't know if I was coming or not, but uh, I it's killing me that I didn't get to go out in the woods with them, but I didn't want to trip or fall or, you know, walking over logs and this and that and the other. I didn't want to fall on it. it. It is kind of lightly drizzling rain out right now. Not It's like on and off for the last hour. But I, I'm just gonna kick back here, so we'll uh, we'll touch base in a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go through these SD cards and see what I got. Um, one of the cameras has 600 and some photos on it, so we'll see what that brings. But no, nope, stick with me, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Show you something. This here was my dad's last hunting suit, and it comes with the bibs and the whole nine yards. Um, it's just uh, still sitting here waiting for him. <laughs> we just never uh, done nothing with it. 
and that's where he always kept it. So, and my brother, before my brother left, after he was here this morning, we had talked about it. You know, he may wear it this year. Might be a little bit big on him, but he might wear it this year. So, just something we've kept in the camp. I've been meaning to tell you guys, you know, may not mean nothing, but it's just, you know, we just, we never did nothing with it. Um, it's been hanging there since, I think it's 05 was his last time he hunted. So it's been there ever since. Um, it's like brand new. So, but, no, they don't know if they're coming back. Uh, the plan was they were going to come next Thursday again. But it doesn't sound like that's going to happen. So this may be it for the bear hunt for 2021. Um, my plan was when this all started was, you know, be out there videotaping, doing everything, you know. And, and like I did the first, their first hunt, but I lost it all. And uh, this is not how I wanted it to turn out. But it is what it is. Chalk it up as a rookie mistake. Um, uh, next time we get... Well, now I didn't apply for a bear permit this year. Because I got... Uh, I had a tag last year. So, for, for you people that don't know the Michigan, goes by a point system. So... You can apply into a party of four people. So, if I would have applied with them this year, they went in with two points. Well, their point total would have came back to zero. So, the plan was they apply, and now next year we'll either apply for a point or apply for the hunt. But uh, we may try for the second hunt next time around. Uh, do things a little different. Um, but it's tough here in Michigan. And there we go. And it's not an excuse. But it's tough here when you're competing with the dog hunters. I have nothing against the dog hunters. Nothing at all. But I think there should be a season for the dog hunters. And then a season for the bait hunters. Even though the bait hunters got the first five days as a quiet period. I still say there should be separate seasons so each one ain't conflicting with each other. But there again, that's just my opinion. But so next time we'll apply as four of us. And we're going to do things a, a lot different than this time around. Um, it, it hasn't met, including last year, it hasn't met my ex expectations. Um, the guide we were, were with, very nice guy. I'm not going to mention his name because he, uh, he don't want nothing on, on YouTube, which should have sent a flag, red flag off last year when he told me that. Now this year, I, I kind of can see, can see the writing on a wall. Um, getting back to you get what you pay for like cheaper isn't always the best way um, but you know like I said with trail cameras you know I got two one two trail cameras right now that ain't working that I, I paid I think total of 30 35 30 30 whatever it was it was cheap but they're not working Okay, now jump up to the bear hunt. You know, what we paid, we didn't pay that much, but he let us stay here. Um, but I don't think he's kept up to his, uh, what he said he was going to do. Um, Yes, he has been baiting, and I know he 
has no control if the bears hit the bait or not. But there's some other things that um, if he's been guiding bears for as many years as he says he has, um, I can tell I know more about it than he does. Um, but that's here and there. I guess you live and learn. And we've learned. You know, we try to go to cheap route. Cheaper ain't always better. But um, I would like to do it myself. But I just don't see it feasible to drive up here every weekend to bait. Because once a bait, a bear bait goes dry, they're they're gonna they're gonna move on. So I, you know, to come up here and keep. I could go to about 10 spots right now where I know there's bear, because there's bear sign. Like that one ridge, there's just bear scat everywhere, and I got trail cam pictures of bears on that on that ridge, and there's areas where they're, you can see where they clawed the tree, and, and uh, I just know in that particular ridge over there, I just know I could get, I could probably get a bear over there, and then up the other road going actually it'd be like south southwest um i'm gonna have a buddy of mine send me he's got the picture still on his camera i'm gonna have him send me pictures of the bear that i got over there that i was looking for deer um i found a, a year the years before it's been about four years now, but I found probably 35, if not more, rubs from that previous, this was in May, from that previous season, deer rubs. And I found an onyx map, the area, and uh, so I was going to deer hunt that area. The only reason I didn't deer hunt it was there wasn't a good spot where the runways were coming out of the thick stuff to set up a blind. Um, because up here, 90% of the wind is out of the north, northwest. And uh, I couldn't put anything on that. There was a pinch point over there. The only where there was, I found a spot, but I'd have to have a, a south wind. Um, and without disturbing the area more, there wasn't really a good area to put a blind. So I never did hunt it. But trail cam pictures, I got more bear on trail camera than I did deer. And there were some good sized bears working that area. So there's, a, there's an area there I could go set up a bear bait and you know, and set up a bear bit over over on that ridge, and then across the street by the creek, there's bear sign, there's bear scat. I haven't been over there yet this year, but this was all last year. There's bear scat and there's bear runways and some nice sized tracks over there. But I just feel. You know, I'm 300 and 387 miles from driveway to driveway. And at over four bucks a gallon of gas, that's a lot of money to be, you know, coming up here to bait. You'd have to come every weekend to bait. And I just thought it was better just to pay someone to do it. You know, and then in this particular area where I'm at, there's no bear dog hunters out this way. Um... Never seen one, never seen sign of any bear dog hunters. Cause you know when they're around, they'll drag the road. And uh, they drag the road and then they put a dog on the hood after they drag it and the dog gets the scent and well, there they go. So like I said, I don't have nothing against the bear dog hunters. I'm a, I've never done it. I don't think I ever would do it. Um, not because I, you know, it's just, 
I'm not in shape to do it. It's, it's not easy with the bear dogs. It may seem easy to the average Joe, but it's not. You can go for miles through swamps and rivers and the whole nine yards. But I just think they should have a season for them and then a season for the um, the bait hunters. But it is what it is. But like I said, I I am not too happy with the service we got. And it gets goes back to you get what you pay for. Um, the main reason I went with them was we could stay, I could stay here. You know, I just don't want to pay someone living quarters to hunt them when I have my own place. So, and he let us do that. But uh, I am not, I'm not too uh, impressed with his uh, services. And I hate to say that, but I, I got to be honest, it's not what I thought it'd be. You know, he, my son's first hunt last weekend, he had other clients. And my son, I didn't know this, but my son's buddy said that they went out and he took the other clients with him up to the bear bait and they were talking, laughing, carrying on. And it's like, no, you know, when you get a bear bait going established, no one should be in that bear bait, but who's ever doing it, you know, you don't drug, drag, drug, whatever, four other guys over to the bait while you're baiting, you know, uh, that's one thing right there. You, you don't do that. One person who starts the bait, one person that's, who should be doing it the whole time. That way the bear knows his scent and it is what it is. But now he, that was the first day of their hunt when they came up for their first bear hunt. You know, he brought his other clients out there. And my son's other two, the one buddy and his other buddy, he didn't even have a blind up for him. He gave them a pop-up blind and told them to put it up. Now, he should have had all that done. So, you know, I, you know, he, he, he don't want you hunting in the mornings because of the bear dog hunters. Well, the real reason is he don't go out to bait till 12, 12, 30, one o'clock. Cause we said, well, we'll be over the first, the first hunt will be over about noon. He's like, no, don't come to like 2 o'clock. I got to bait him yet. Well, that should have been done four or five hours ago. So it's been a bad, you know, yes, the weather didn't cooperate, but yet he had, he had other issues, you know. And then bringing other people out to the bear bait, you don't do that. And bears are keen to that one person, you know. You get other other scents around there, then they're going to know something's up. So, and by no means am I no bear expert. But I know a few things. And you don't do that. So, I'm not going to cause no airways with them. And I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to bitch and complain to him anyway. But. I felt bad for my son and his two buddies because I, but to bring other people out there to the bait and laugh and carry on and this and that and you know that 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 don't cut the cheese for me so I guess we learned a lesson there are other bear guy hunters up here um, but by no means are they you know they're they're up there they're stiff in price and but, and you, you got to stay there. So, well, I'm going to look into it some more again uh, next year. But, um, not too happy. You know, I was all excited for my son and, and this is everything that's been happening. You know, no blinds put up for the other two guys and 
taking other people out to the baits and you know and then he sat the one guy on a bait that was like right on a two track and what's going by all night long is side by sides so really so you get what you pay for but uh nice guy though hell of a nice guy i'll give him that but his techniques for how he does things is not good but like i said i am i'm not going to mention his name um i will mention his name off air if anybody wanted to i would mention their name if i talked to somebody in person i would mention his name not not to go with him but i won't do it i won't tear somebody down on on this that's not like me but I will tell somebody if they were to ask me who you went with and what do you think I would give them a thumbs down um, but no I just wanted to show you this I've been meaning to show you that and what it's all about this is just a raincoat but this was my dad's and still sitting here waiting for him so Talk to you a little later.